So in this tutorial, we are going to use the Earth Explorer website in order to download a water body, like for example, this lake. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So before starting, you need to create an account in Earth Explorer. In order to do this, go to your local browser and look for Earth Explorer. You will get this first result, click on it. You will be redirected to this page. This is where we are going to download our water body. So in order to create a new account, click on login. You will get this page. So if you have already an account, you can sign in. If you don't have an account, just click on create new account. You will get this. Just enter your personal information and you will create easily your account. After creating your account, now we'll be using this Earth Explorer website in order to download our water body. So I will zoom into my area of interest. Let's, for example, go ahead and download this water body, this lake just next to Geneva. So we'll go ahead and draw a rectangle on this lake. So the form of this polygon is not very important. After drawing your polygon, go ahead and click on data sets. I will go ahead and click on digital elevation and click on this plus button just next to SRTM and check this SRTM water body data. So after that, we'll click directly on results. So as you can see, we got two images. In order to get the footprint of these images, click on this small foot button. So here we go. We got this image with, which contains our lake. You can try this one also. So I will go ahead and download this image. In order to do this, just click on this small button just next to your image. So you will get this window, just click on download. So now just wait for the download to finish. After the end of the download, you will get this zip file. Click on, right click on it in order to unzip it. Click on extract here. So here we go, we got a bunch of files we will be using its hp in our gis software so i will be using arcgis you can use also qgis so after opening arcgis i will go ahead and add my file so click on add data then navigate to your desired folder and then click on your newly downloaded file then click on add so now so arcgis is telling us that there is no coordinate system for our uh, file layer just click on ok you will specify this coordinate system later so as you can see we got our lake and also other water bodies so if you want only to get your water body you can go ahead to your ship file right click on it and go to edit feature and then click on start editing and you can select your undesired water bodies and just click on delete so i will do the same operation for those other small water bodies so here we go now so go to this edit menu click on editor and then click on save edit then click on stop editing so here we go i got my water body so now i need to specify the coordinate system of this layer so go to layers right click on it and then click on properties then go to coordinate system then under geographic coordinate systems go ahead and look for world and then click on wgs1984 click on apply and then okay so here you go in order to make sure that our body is correct we'll go ahead and add a base map in order to do this click on this small button just next to add data and then click on base map so we will add for example this base map then click on add just wait for it so we go as you can see our water body is in its right place as you can see here this is the, the lake that, of geneva that we just downloaded so i will uncheck this base map and so if you want to get this water body as a shit file go to your downloaded shape file right click on it and then click on go to data and then click on export data so there we go here you can specify where you want to save your shape file so name it and then click on save and then okay if you want to add your new shape file in this arcgis workflow just click on yes so there we go as you can see we exported our lake as a shape file alone without other water bodies so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you got some value from it, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.